just in case you guys didn't know, because uh, I'm very used to this, feel free to mock me about this. I am there. There are many ways I am all too human, and one of them is knowing basic mathematics. Uh, it is not my my strong area at all. And getting just to this was a fucking small miracle. So. <laughs> Uh, let's try... No, I already did that. Um, what are you? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing the whole thing wrong. Maybe... Let's do an integer. Integer. Try that because I I want it to be a box. Well, that's not at all what I wanted. I wonder. Okay. No, it's got to be an add on one and a divide on the other. It's, it's got to be... It's the only way it makes sense. But it's not making sense. It's not at all. <laughs> it's being a total douchebag. It's just pushing it out that way. Damn you, Galileo, Galilee, and whoever the fuck else worked on this shit. Why can't you make me smarter? even trying anymore. And by that I mean me, because, you know, obviously any programming errors are actually my fault, not the program's fault. But I will blame the program anyways, because I'm mean like that. Oh, now you're just being a dick. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Welcome to Basic Algebra, everybody. Bet you didn't know that's what we were going to be doing today. Oh, I wasn't trying to make something cool at all. If I, if I have to, I'll be an ass and fucking just make it by hand. You know what? Fine. Fuck you, pegboard. Fuck you and your fucking fucker face. And I'm going to just go and make it by hand. Like an adult. because this is how adults act. Piece of shit. Actually, there's a better way to do this. Grid scale, 100. Boom. Two. 
three. Not that far. Two, four, five. I believe there's multiples here. Get out of the way, reflection capture. I've got business. There. Okay, so, whole point. Yay, look, I made a light bright, everybody. That's what I was going for. The whole fucking time. That's it. <laughs> Goddamn piece of shit. Fucking procedural generation didn't want to work. <laughs> that was the whole point. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Having said that, I think this is pretty awesome. To be honest. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a nostalgic person. And, uh, let's see. When I was a kid, I had a light bright. Because, you know, I was an 80s kid. So. Um, I believe they still count as individual materials, so you'd still get uh, draw calls for them. The main benefit to uh, dynamic instances is that you only have to compile the master material when you make changes. Um, like, if you're going to make changes to the master material that would affect all of your dynamic instances, then it makes sense um, to compile, but otherwise it's just basically palette swaps, so it doesn't have to compile all of the data Instead, it's just like, oh, well, this one changed, boom, and now it's done. And I need to move my camera. About, yay. Yay. And what's great is, so we can make actual pictures. Yep, I'm going to do the standard, it's a boat, I don't know if you guys could tell, my master for artwork here. Yay! It's a boat! <laughs> maybe, maybe make like a... You know. There's land over here. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's that. And I do plan on doing more with it. I'm gonna... S I'm going to be at work tomorrow, and I'll see the one, like, I swear to God, it's like one, maybe two nodes that I'm missing in here that's messing this up. Once I get those nodes, I'll be able to figure it out, and the next stream, I will update this. I'm also planning on doing a couple things with UMG with this, where hopefully we're going to have, like, a color picker on the side where we can just go, oh, look, and I want this, and I want this, instead of having to do, like, this the entire time. Um, plan on doing a lot more with it. But, now that I'm thoroughly frustrated with with my lack of awareness and understanding of what the f*** happened, we're going to move on to user questions. Yeah! Okay, so, we're going to start with TK4, because TK4 has already sent me a project. Boop. Oh, dear. Uh, hopefully we can open this, because I don't have 4.8. So it's kind of like a crapshoot. If you're in 4.8, I might not be able to open it. <sighs> okay, there's at least a map that I cannot open. Uh, 
let's see, I believe you said it was a particle system that you were working on. Okay, well, anyways, I think I can answer your question um, actually using the particle system that we made in this one. Don't save. So we're gonna, since I don't have 4.8, I don't think I can open it uh, properly and get all the information. So we will try my particle system and see if you're seeing about the same thing. Oh, well. Well, poop on a stick. Oh, well, I'm already opening this one. Uh, yeah, finalize, finalize, whatever. That's not important. Where are my, there we are. So, right here, is this kind of what you're seeing, like, depending on what angle? Oh, God damn it. Okay, so depending on what angle, they don't render quite right. keep doing this until I see in chat if that's what you're talking about. Whee! Isn't this fun? <laughs> but yeah, is, is this the, uh, the rendering issue you're seeing where like depending on kind of what angle... Okay, what's happening is when you look at particle systems they are they're rendering based on your basically almost like the dot product at what view you look at them at so if you're looking at the center of them that's a dot product of effectively negative one so it is it recognizes that you're looking right at it when you move the camera away it's reducing the dot or it's uh moving the dot product back down to down near zero the closer it gets to zero it's going oh okay you're not actually looking at this so we don't need to render it. What you need to do is, um, I believe there's some stuff that you can do. Where is this particle system? B. Didn't. What? What? What do I name this? Particle system. Find it. Thank you. Um, don't think it's relative bounding box. Okay, so basically what you're going to have to do is either increase the uh, amount of particle systems you are using that way depending on which angle, like let's say you're doing rain or something, you can either put a sheet of rain in front of the player, like a couple different sheets that just follow along with it when you're in an area or have um, my personal favorite would be to have a cloud or something sitting over the player's head that goes out a distance that way you're like right in the middle of it and it's out as far as you can see pretty much or at least perceivably see um, and have the rain spawning in there instead of around the level and that way it's just kind of it's interacting as long as you're in it and because you're always looking at it since it's centered on you it can't just disappear or it shun it um, but yeah pretty much it's whenever you break line of sight it's going to disappear and that's um I think that's unfortunately intended behavior um, I'm trying to think of what else you could do with that Let me So let's say I've got this thing here. 